where does inspiration come from with this type of thing? It takes a very special artist to participate at Art at the Arnold. Friday afternoon, the artists go out into the event and they select a subject matter of anything of their choosing of interest that they would like to, to do a painting of uh, for our all-day Saturday session. I love painting people or anything from life. I was on a quest to find the perfect photograph to do a painting from. I don't usually paint athletes, so. Oh, this one's good. Want to see? This one's good. The Arnold Sports Festival adds new uh, events every single year. It just keeps growing larger and larger and larger. Uh, we're trying to think of a way where we could uh, actually uh, combine fine art with the, the, the weekend, the sports weekend. So we said, well, let's give it a try. And uh, now we're, this is our sixth annual Art at the Arnold. Uh, the artists that, that are here today are some of the very best artists uh, for, for figurative and, and, and they're sports enthusiasts. What I want this one to evoke is the struggle between the two individuals wrestling. The artists can work in any medium that they're comfortable with. That's what's great, the diversity of the whole thing that makes it so interesting, just like the event itself. All types of artists from all over the place doing very conservative work to wild and crazy. We've got sculpture this time, someone works in tape. Um, I started doing duct tape a couple years ago. I work for an ad agency, I'm an art director by trade, so um, I do have a, a heavy interest in graphic design, so that's kind of where I shifted away from painting and more into more of a graphic uh, interpretation of, of the human form. This is something I literally only do once a year. I only do it for this event. I, it's a lot of work and it's hard on the back too. There is actually, underneath the, this tape, is a piece of a sheet of plexiglass. So I'm working right on a hard surface. So I'm cutting through layers of duct tape, peeling away uh, areas to reveal other colors underneath. Well, this type of medium is, you have to really plan. So I knew before I even came to the event that I was gonna do a gymnast. I wanted to figure out you know, what the pose was gonna be and all that. And you never know what you're gonna get. You go in there, you bring your camera, you're taking shots, and most of them are blurry because these athletes keep on moving. Um, but I managed to get a couple of interesting shots, poses that I liked that were, you know, where they were still enough to capture. And then I just, you know, busted out the, uh, the duct tape colors that are, you know, there's so many colors nowadays that you can get. And uh, their outfits are also very colorful, so it really lends itself to, the, to this medium. It's all sports oriented, everything we do. It, it builds off of the, um, the, the beauty of the athletic form. Uh, the Arnold Sports Festival uh, uh, has 174,000 attendees in three days, uh, 18,000 athletes that participate, and we have 50 artists. So we have the honors of being the smallest event for the whole weekend. <laughs> um, I was a spectator here on their first year of the day, started the art at the Arnold, and I've been an artist all my life, so I applied and this is my fifth year. I took a picture of this figure bodybuilder and he's my influence for my work today. I caught him getting tanned up for his bodybuilding competition and I captured a shot while he was preparing. I'm a high school art teacher and I've done art all my life and I love drawing the figure and working in every medium so I just continue to strive to challenge myself in the mediums every day. It's, it's amazing uh, the uh, a, a different level of culture that we've that artists have added to the sports uh, festival weekend. And uh, it's been well accepted. People love seeing something created from nothing. We love the challenge of getting the photographs, making something, and then even if you have a bad photograph, trying to get something good out of it and be creative with it. It's a great way to combine the arts and I mean, that's the best um, subject matter to paint or draw is the figure, so what better way to combine the two elements?